Playa Coronado the type of community that I'm looking for? Exclusive! Who are you? You're going to find You got to die Homes, mansions The general expat who lives here Pools Likes to go out Exclusive! to the channel. My name is April. My name is Rondell. And we are traveling around looking for a place to call home. Look, this episode finds us in Coronado. But before we dive deeper, we just wanted to say thank you to our patrons and thank you to those who buy us a coffee. It truly helps us in our travels. We are more than grateful and more than thankful for you guys. So again, muchas gracias. Thank you. Coronado is home of one of the most exclusive expat havens in all of Panama. And, and we're, we're here, here to, to find, find out why. why. There is Coronado. And then there's Playa Coronado. Well, what's the difference, Miss <laughs> Yarbrough? bro? Well, the Playa Coronado is the more exclusive area, okay? Pinkies it is out. the gated kind of resort style beachside community. It's been around for a minute, but like when you realize how kind of cordoned off this area is yeah. from Coordinado, it makes you want to think, who lives here? Who lives here and why do they live here? A lot of Panamanians who use this place as like a summer residence. Oh yeah, so it's considered like the Hamptons of right. Panama. <laughs> right, and it is for sure an area of a swole number of expats. In this gated beachside community, you're going to see lots of different types of houses, surprisingly. Coronado's real estate is just like its residents, distinctive and diverse. The area is filled with everything from country estates, sleek mini mansions, lavish beach resorts, to humble single family homes. Located just one hour from Panama City, the infrastructure of this area thoroughly supports the ever growing and thriving expat community. With a 24 hour clinic, four fully stocked grocery stores, a price mart, and half an hour away, three outdoor malls, and both human and pet services to boot. Exclusive! This area really reminds me of like a suburb community, mainly because it's mostly just houses or residences and hotels and things like that but there aren't a lot of different businesses or restaurants here there's no chain restaurants within this community at all although there are two restaurants here one of the two restaurants behind the gate is picasso's it is the social hub of the community with great food options, a nice bar, and lively weekly events and entertainment. It's one of those places where the community meets and everyone knows your name. Thirty percent of the people that live here are expats, and a vast majority of those expats come from North America, you know, Canada or the United States. The rest are local Panamanians. I was a little surprised that there weren't more stores and accessible things that supported the community here. Exclusive! You have to go outside the gates to buy any type of furniture, uh, to get your car repaired, or to have a night out on the town, so to speak. There are only two restaurants behind these gates. What didn't surprise me were the individuals who live here who make their living catering to the needs of uh, the well-to-do. The makeup of the general expat who lives here likes to go out, likes to enjoy their life, and enjoys security. The biggest takeaway from Coronado is its security. Let me tell you a little bit more about how the community is set up. There is one road to get in and yep. one road to get out. 
uh, when you pull into this place, you have to go through a security gate. Mm -hmm. If you're in a cab or a taxi, as some say in some places, you have to pull that taxi over, pop the trunk, and the trunk is gone through. They check that trunk going in and coming out of Playa Coronado. Now, what exactly they're looking for? I don't know. I don't know. Curious. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's drugs. Somebody told me they're looking for people to make sure they're not extra people that are getting dropped off inside of here. Mm -hmm. It's just interesting. So, uh, pop the trunk to come in, pop the trunk to go out. The only other way to access Playa Coronado is to pull up in a speedboat or a houseboat <laughs> or some other kind of maritime Yeah, there's uh, like a uh, river on vehicle. either side of this community. So it's hard to access unless you know somebody, you in here, you're going to Picasso's, right? right? Or you have a residence here. But the people who live here, like in the last, let's say 10 or 20 years, a lot of foreigners are coming to this area, buying property, renting property, and residing here. But so are the elite of Panama. True. Uh, a gentleman who kind of uh, laid out the roadmap to this place, bought a bunch of the land, built a bunch of exclusive property, and the ones that didn't sell got to see here, and their property value is pretty up there right I'm now. I'm sure. Learning a bit about this area, we know that Panama is run by a certain number of families, and a lot of them have homes in Playa Coronado. When we say run by the families, we mean that they've held political office, they've held sway here since the inception of Panama. These families, as we understand it, uh, really call the shots for all of Panama. Mm -hmm. And again, they all have residences here in the exclusive area of Coronado. But not just that, like other big businesses, the owners of those. Copa Airlines. Copa Airlines, mm -hmm. a lot of big name stores and yep. corporations, they have homes here in this community. It's like the Hamptons. This is the saddest symbol. This area doesn't have any franchise businesses within None. it. And they're not allowed to be in here. Right. And most are located outside of the gates here. Mm -hmm. So this is Coronado, but it's not the exclusive part. Right now, we are in like the Coronado Corridor. There are three plazas directly across from each other, and this is where you will find the major grocery stores, the restaurants, lots of Western ones too. So if you've got a hankering for KFC and Subway, they got them here. But they also have lots of local restaurant choices as well, one of which we just enjoyed for lunch. You guys, we're in a place called Leonardo, and I'm happy that we came here. Uh, we're eating fast food, we're gonna eat a local pizzeria, Leonardo. Food looks good, this is inexpensive food, and um, it looks really good. So I'm kind of excited about what we're about to eat. Some fast food, you know what I mean? That's where we're at right now. I'm excited about fast food. This is located <laughs> right at the entrance of Playa Coronado community, and you can use a pedestrian bridge to get right across the street, which is over the Pan American Highway. You are not in a deserted oasis out here. We have furniture stores, all types of modern shops, pet shops, veterinarians, all types of different grocery stores also right along this same corridor. If you don't know, the Pan American Highway connects all of the Americas, all the way from Canada on through down to Argentina. So this is the highway of life. The Pan American Highway is a stretch of highway that connects the Americas. Hola. <laughs> You lay around in your houses with the windows open. Who are you? Who are you guys that just don't care? Oh, you sway in your hammock in the front yard. Who are you guys that don't give a damn about mosquitoes? Frolic around in bushes. You walk outside with flip-flops on through the grass and not get torn the heck up. Who are you? I don't know who they are, but I envy them so much. No matter where we travel, if it is a hot environment or a tropical environment, mosquitoes are always a problem. And I don't know what it is. Between me and my husband, they will eat him up first, but then they'll come right next to me. So that is a travel hazard that you need to know of when you're out in these streets. Bring some repellent or put some lavender oil, citronella oil in your lotion. Do whatever you have to do to stay unbitten. They gonna get you. I can't stand them. You got to die, Skeeter. You got to die! Coronado was designed and laid down over 80 years ago. And the further you get out from Ciudad de Panama, Panama City, you'll find that roads are not paved, there are lots of potholes, it just requires a lot of work. Uh, but you will find some paved roads around here. What you're not going to find are sidewalks. Coronado is peaceful, it's safe, it's secure. 
it's lush, and it's community. Even the birds get down. Playa Coronado is the first and the most well-developed beachfront community in Panama with an infrastructure that continues to grow in and around the community. This area has multiple public access points to the beach, a country club, golf course, and an active and supportive exclusive community. Is Playa Coronado the type of community that I'm looking for? Whew. You know what, I'm gonna speak for myself and say that I don't know exactly how I'll feel 20 or 30 years from now, but right now I'm looking for more of a walkable community and I just can't see that here in this community of Playa Coronado. Um, there are no sidewalks and you really need your own transportation to get around. It's not super strenuous to walk here, but it's not really easy to walk here either. I'm looking to be able to walk to cafes and stores and restaurants and things like that, and it's not here now. Who knows what it'll look like then, but for now, I'm gonna put Coronado on the back burner. 